guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, today, I'm actually going to be setting some coon and coyote traps in an area that all I've been seeing is coons and coyotes on my trail camera. Uh, they're just eating my, my deer corn and stuff like that. So we're going to go see if we can put some traps in the ground and hopefully take care of some. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so last night I actually went deer hunting and I brought my green light with me just to kind of see, you know, if anything, if a coyote ended up walking up while I was there after dark, I'd be able to see it with that green flashlight. I actually recorded some of that hunt last night, so I'm going to throw that in right now. And uh, you guys will see some of the stuff that came in and why I'm trapping this area. Okay, so let me kind of show you what we've got going on. I've got my my sifter. Okay, this is just you know for you know you just we you know your regular trap sets. Uh, we got a number. What is this? Like I think this is a one and three quarter duke trap. I also have a number three duke trap for coyotes. Uh, got a couple steaks. You know this stuff. I got some cat food in here or whatnot. And then for my uh, for my coon bait, this is stuff that I made. It's basically cat food, vanilla extract and a bunch of random stuff that I don't even remember what I put in this. I actually made it last year so it should be nice and stinky which is a good thing. Yeah and then I got all that just inside a, uh, a little tool bag right here. Piece everything together and I can just walk around put a set in, pack everything up and move on pretty easily. So let's get started. Yeah so we're actually in the exact same spot that we saw the, uh, the coon and the possum last night. This is what they were eating. That's just some uh, some bait that I threw out. And yeah, so they were coming right here. We should have some pretty good pictures on that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check that. And if I have anything good, then I'll, I'll put it in the video, you know. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be setting my coon set probably, I'll probably set it right in between those two trees or right at the base of that stump. Since last night, this has been eaten quite a bit. So I'm excited to see what kind of pictures we have on the camera. So let's get into that. Okay, so strangely enough, the, my trail camera didn't actually pick up the coon and the possum that were here last night. It did see a coon at 1 o'clock in the morning, after, which is long after I left. Um, it's, it got those pictures, so that's pretty weird. I got a ton of coyotes from the past three days. All of the coyotes have been here, um, usually some at 8 o'clock and some all the way, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that. I already put the pictures in the video so you know what happened, and then... Um, yeah, I'll just put all the good pictures in there. Anyway, let's go ahead and make our set right over here. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a blind set on this trail right here for coyotes, so that should be good. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so I decided to put the trap right in between these two trees, and I'm just going to do a dirt hole set. So, um, yeah, we got, some, we got some good backing right over here, and uh, they're kind of funneled because of this log that was already here. And so they're kind of funnel right into the front of this trap. I want to put some backing right in the back so they can't come from behind it. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, now for a pan cover, um, I'm actually going to just use a piece of trash bag. I don't normally use a trash bag. Normally I'll use something like a piece of cotton. But I wanted to try this because if it works, it uh, you know, you can make thousands of these out of one trash bag so I'm hoping that it works. Just gonna take some bait and believe me this stuff is right after a year so it's nice and stinky. Let's take a good glob about like that. Put it right down in that hole. Then just to get the scent out I'm just gonna take a little bit so they can smell it. Top. 
you're gonna be able to smell that from a mile away. So there's our set. Just gonna come back here. Make a nice little place. Place for them to come in. Gonna make a false trail kinda. Right up to it. There's leaves back. And there you go guys. There is a coon. Okay guys, so there's my flat set right there. You can barely tell it's there. It matches the rest of the trail, which you can't really see in the camera. But, uh, yeah, uh, I left a little bare spot right about there where my pan is, and uh, should be good. It's not the best, um, but it looks it looks it looks decent. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, that is today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it. And um, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you like what you saw. We're going to be back in the next couple days checking these traps, so stay tuned for that. You're going to want to see it. And uh, if you have any advice, anything I should change, anything I can try, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.